Hi all folks, this is Max from ZeroMax.com. So uh, we're gonna today install the uh, the new uh, gingerbread ROM that I found uh, at XDA. It's called the uh, was it the Giggle Bread? No, it's a Ginger Villain. It's uh, one of the first uh, gingerbread ROMs, so you can have gingerbread on your G2 phone. Anyway, we're gonna try it out. Uh, to do this, you should have first rooted your phone and also know how to install the clockwork mod uh, app and the recovery so once you have done that if you haven't done that go to g2hacks.com we show you how and uh, once you've done that turn off your phone uh, actually don't turn off your phone copy over the two files the two files are I'll have links on you know the files uh, the first file is recovery.img and also update dash cm dash seven point zero dot zero dash blah 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 this two files that's the wrong file and the first one is the recovery image we have to flash it um, so you'll need a, to connect it to your computer anyway once you have you copied uh, those to your mini SD card in your G2 phone turn off your phone and hold down the power button and then or the volume button sorry and then hit the power button or you can also just get into recovery by running the clock mod recovery but I just did it because my phone I think it's easier once you get here go to recovery and press the button or power button sorry and then now we'll get into the uh, clockwork mod recovery menu this lives in your ROM so that's where we're gonna wipe our phone and I hope you've backed up your ROM I backed up my ROM I backed up everything and you don't have to worry about your uh, you know camera images they're still gonna be there um, it's not gonna do anything so what we're gonna do is go to wipe data factory reset alright and hit the center button um, that one right hit that button and then they've got this all these nodes so just in case you don't want to do it yes hit it and it's gonna format uh, the data the system data uh, wipe it off it's gonna take like five seconds I don't know it's taking longer than usual so <clears throat> once this is done we're gonna also uh, wipe some other stuff like the Dalvik cache sometimes when you don't clear the Dalvik cache it's some kind of cache I don't understand it but if you don't clear it then sometimes you know when you install a new ROM it can kind of uh, uh, stall on you and not boot the new ROM so you just wipe the uh, system and then go back to wipe cache partition hit the center button right and then I think this is also the Dalvik cache hit it and that will clear the cache formatting cache alright so now my phone has no OS it's pretty much empty but it's ready to uh, install new stuff so the only thing we have left is uh, just install zip from SD card and hit the trackball button uh, and then choose zip from SD card and we're gonna go find the uh, the gingerbread the update dash cm dash uh, Oh, you know what? I have the wrong zip file. So let me connect it. You should actually copy over the ginger villain 1.4 dash sign zip. So if you copy the wrong zip file, it's not good. So I'll be back. A great way to, uh, you know, you know, you should always have one of these uh, micro SD adapters that turns your micro SD into a regular SD. Because at times like this, I just wiped my phone, but I don't have a. a you know, I don't have an OS, which means I can't even connect it and read my micro SD. So, in these emergency situations, I can just stick this in here uh, and then install the correct, well, copy over the correct ROM and just put it back in. You know, you know, I'm sure it comes with when you buy a micro SD card. Make sure you have one of these. Very useful. Very useful. So I've copied over the correct zip file, so it's great to have one of those. Um, and uh, I'm gonna put the put it back in. And zip. Put the battery back in. The case cover. 
and uh, let's start over. So, volume down, power button. And I'm just leaving this in the video just in case, you know, it could be helpful. Go to recovery, hit power button. And then let's go, you know, since I wiped everything already, I can just install the zip file. And I should have the gingerbread uh, ROM, the ginger villain. So install from SD card, hit the, hit the center button. Uh, install zip from SD card. I actually messed it up. That one's actually for a Nexus one. See, it says N1. Uh, that would have just done nothing to my phone. I would have to. It actually wouldn't hurt it. So now hit the ginger villain. 1.4 dash sign zip or you know if they have the new version hit this button and hit yes and hit it and now it's uh, installing the new ginger villain gingerbread 2.3 on your T-Mobile G2 phone and uh, I'll be back after this all installs it's gonna take like a minute or two yippity do so I've got my very first uh, ROM and also it's gingerbread and uh, it's installed so let's hit the back button your boot system now and let's just cross our fingers cross our fingers that uh, it's gonna boot into the new ROM gingerbread and for those of you who have never rooted uh, or you know installed new ROMs I'm telling you it's completely safe you know why is it not booting Oh, you know what? I hit the wrong button, sorry. It just powers off the screen. Hit the center button. Anyway, you know, for those of you who are thinking that, you know, rooting is very hard or could break your phone, in reality, these phones are so tough, even if you mess up, you can always go back to factory. I've done it a million times. You can't really brick these phones. These phones are just, you know, they're made so they can't be bricked. I've never actually seen a bricked phone. I think it's actually impossible to do. Maybe it is possible. Um, the only way I would say is if you, you know, wiped your whole Android OS and then, oh, there you go, Bill and Ron. Check it out. You know, and also you've, you know, you're flashing the uh, clockwork mod and then suddenly you ran out of battery. That would be like the only case. But so long as you have, you know, an OS in there and, uh, you know, or that you have a flash. Uh, clockwork flash or clockwork mod then there's no way you can break it you know it's impossible these things are you know awesome anyway that's the villain rom so I just install it this is the gingerbread um, so I wouldn't wait for you know T-Mobile and Google to update it just install your own roms why not so it's booting up so I'll be back after it boots up I'm gonna sign in it's gonna boot up fine. Hi, all folks. This is Max from ZeroMax.com. So uh, let me give you an overview of the uh, the Ginger Villain ROM. So this is what it looks like without me doing anything. And also, I believe this has a kernel that you can overclock. It already has. Uh, usually, you have to install more files, but this one already has it. So let me go play with Limpack. Run benchmark. I think I was getting like 15. It's okay. I was getting like almost 30 on my HTC Evo. But uh, we'll run it again after we overclock it later. So I'm getting like 22. 22, not bad. Also, what does it come with? Uh, it comes with the dev tools. These are my apps. It comes with. It's pretty much the same as a stock Android terminal emulator. Um, it just, you know, I think it's better. Because it's, you know, gingerbread, so let me give you a about phone. Yeah, 2.3.1. So I've got gingerbread, ginger villain. I kind of like this ROM, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, it's got ginger uh, villain ROM settings. This is actually a uh, Cyanogen's mom mod ROM. Um, slightly modified. So you got tethering, everything. Everything works. Um, so I highly recommend it and uh, my I, I don't know for some reason my stock uh, OS was being buggy with my uh, micro SD but hopefully this won't have those problems and you know 
I highly recommend it. Try it out, you know. So that was just a short review of the Ginger Villain ROM. And next video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your G2 phone. So watch out for that.